They had to trade in eight Fruit Loops box tops to get this ball. Yeah, man. Very balling. What's going on, everybody? It's a new video today. Doing an in the bag video showing you all the equipment that I use, the specs on it, and whatnot. So, first off, got uh, Bauer Profile. This is a 960 XPM mask, uh, custom painted by Liquid Lab Effects. Currently, have a new mask in the works right now. It's a uh, Kurt Cobain Nirvana throwback, and I'll throw some pics on the screen of what it looks like. Um, but this one was painted uh, last year by Liquid Lab. Um, so yeah, Profile 960 XPM has the uh, quick release um, harness straps. You can get these off the uh, Padskins website actually. I think for 30 bucks, the quick release straps. And uh, yeah, so basically it's just kind of like a monster wearing a vintage mask. Um, dark on one side, light on the other. Um, powder coated white cage. And then uh, Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady on the back of the mask. So that is that. This is a Brian's Genetic 3 blocker. So it's just stock genetic three with the uh, checkerboard graphic I got on there. Got the little uh, flare stuff. And then on the side, it's just a stock genetic graphic. You kind of see why they stock graphic. Um, they accidentally gave me sub zero three finger protection. So the fingers protection on the index finger is not attached to the finger. Um, I thought I'd, I might've been uh, breaking the finger by now, but I haven't luckily. So knock on wood for that, but um, it's about it. nothing special. My name's embroidered on the uh, side. Uh, navy binding, and that's about it. Um, next up is the glove. Um, so this is a Brian Sub Zero Three glove. It's got the checkerboard graphic again with the uh, little flare design. It's a two-piece thumb and cuff. Um, again, custom colors and whatnot. It's got an anchor tee, but what's really special about this is that it's actually floating. Um, so basically, it's not anchored down to the bottom of the glove like, a, like it traditionally is. It just floats in the pocket, kind of like this, and it, it provides a lot of. Um, uh, puck retention, so it allows the puck to really kind of go in there and the skate legs pocket helps with that too It's a plus one pocket, so it's really deep and the pucks just kind of sit there um, on the back custom color mods So I got a little navy strip here, and then this is actually Clarino. It's like leather So it doesn't discolor same with the cuff uh, name is right in the back and then um, the little custom flare logo on the back that's the glove um, on the pad so I got some brand new pro laces right here that I haven't installed yet on my new set. I'm still waiting for my last set to rip. Uh, it's just on the cusp of breaking, but these are um, the stock uh, pro laces with the uh, skate lace guard over top of them. Um, they're really awesome. I've been using them for a couple months now. Now for the actual pads. Uh, so these are Brian's Genetic 3 pads. And what's really special about these is they're spec'd out to be optic about as much as you possibly can. So they got optic, uh, optic slides, so it's uh, bindingless and the Primo on the side. Um, optic face foams on the side, I modded it so it's just a solid navy gusset, soft graphic on the side. Uh, navy leg channel and with a little white wing wrap, sport gold logo on the side, and then my name and team logos on the back. It's uh, stock uh, smart straps that I kind of modded a bit. Um, so I just basically simplified all the strapping for the uh, X strap as you see here. And then uh, stock well, for knee tab, and then I got one leather strap to drop below the knee because I just felt you know every pad needs at least one leather strap, otherwise it's, it's not traditional. And then uh, the stock strap that uh, kind of ties the whole calf wing together. It's a uh, one, two, three flex with a uh, single break on the outside of the, uh, of the, uh, the roll. And moving down, so next up we got uh, custom VH skates. So I got the boot about two years ago, and these are brand new Bauer Vertex 2 Callings that I threw on probably six months ago or so. Uh, we've got some new skates coming next week actually, and um, you'll just have to stay tuned to see those when they come. I love the uh, VH boot though, they're awesome. Moving down again. So Bauer Vapor 1X XL chest protector stock. Got it on a hell of a deal. Uh, I'm getting a new chest protector for next season, so I got this one pre-sold. And then after that, I got uh, Bauer Pro knee guards. These are from the NXG model, and I wasn't really a fan of the 1S knee guards. I, I, I really like these knee guards, so I haven't bothered switching yet. Um, the senior size, and then finally, I got uh, Bauer 1S. So the pants, I kind of modded the internal belt, so it, it, well, it's on the inside instead of running through the outside. Um, stock XL size, uh, navy colored. Um, I changed the abdominal pads instead of being on the outside, I have them inside with uh, skate laces. And uh, so we got VIU jersey, it's the practice jersey I got while I was out there on my trip. I'm gonna be rocking that probably all summer. 
um, standard socks and whatnot, and then I got a box of jerseys with all the jerseys that I've played with from previous teams from AAA to high school. It's not really in the bag um, uh, type of equipment, but just something I thought that would be kind of interesting for this video. So, anyway, um, also using the Bauer 1S stick. Um, getting some new, twig, new twigs uh, next week. Um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what uh, you like the graphic on my setup. Do you not? What do you think I should get for next year? Because I'll be getting all new stuff next year. I've got some custom pants coming in a couple weeks. Um, need to order a new chest protector. Skates coming next week. Um, the Kurt Cobain, or, uh, Kurt Cobain Nirvana uh, mask coming soon. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next week.